So how can you prevent your head gasket from failing? You may know that this is a very expensive repair. To change the head gasket, you will need to take off the head to buy some parts and then to uh, pay a mechanic to torque this head back. And in the process of replacing this head gasket, there will be a ton of things that you will probably need to do with this engine. So um, maybe this is one of the last things you will want with your engine to happen. You will most likely have white smoke from the tailpipe or maybe gray smoke. You will have a coolant drop in the coolant tank. You may have oil consumption in your engine, so the oil level will drop. It depends on how and where this head gasket was blown. So the, the consequences are really bad. And now let's think about the reasons and how you can prevent this from happening. First of all, your head gasket may be broken because of the overheating. This is the reason number one. And to prevent this, you need to control the coolant level first of all. Also look at the temperature gauge in your vehicle because this will show you once something happens with your engine with the coolant system it, it will show you that the temperature is raising and you need to stop your vehicle you should never drive with overheated engine if you see at least some overheating you should stop the car and at least let it cool down before you start it again also you need to control how your engine warms up so how fast it can warm up because if it warms up for a very long time it means that there is some problem with the thermostat and if the thermostat is broken it can eventually lead to overheating or maybe it will lead to a cold work of the engine which is also not a really good idea. The reason number two for head gasket failure is as simple as age. Unfortunately, a lot of cars, a lot of engines have just some gaskets that don't last as long as the engine. The average age of the head gasket in a modern engine should be about 200,000 kilometers or about 120, 130,000 miles. This is not a lot. And there is no way you can prevent this from happening. So there is no maintenance for the head gasket or something like that. And in this case, it's important to understand when the head gasket is broken and when it needs replacement. Because if you keep driving with a broken head gasket, this will lead to the end of your engine. The reason number three is the bad head gasket. So if you already replaced this head gasket and you bought a cheap part, or maybe just someone sold you a bad part for big money, uh, this will lead to premature death of this head gasket and it will leak it may leak in 10 or 20 thousand miles no one knows so uh, i really recommend buying oem parts when you repair your engine because yes you overpay but you are sure that you're buying a high quality part and it will at least last a certain period of time or certain mileage reason four for head gasket failure is over tightening this is a very common thing if you repair the engine on your own or you let some inexperienced mechanic repair your engine this is a very important thing so the head bolts need certain torque if the head bolts are not torqued as the manufacturer recommends your head gasket will be squeezed or it will not be pressed enough by the head so there will be some leaks and they eventually will lead to the failure of the head gasket in just days after you install it. So when tightening the head you need a torque wrench and you should know the exact torque that should be applied to the bolts in the engine head in your engine. Also the fifth reason for head gasket failure is the problem with the head. So after overheating or after huge mileage the head, the engine head may not be even yeah so its base may not be even and it will require replacement or maybe repair if you have people who can repair this you can actually bring this head back to life but if the engine head base is not even there is no way that head gasket will live long it may live 500 miles or 1000 miles and it will leak eventually so you will need to repair the head or replace it because otherwise you will be paying for this repair again and again. And this is a huge money. So the labor is very time consuming. And uh, reason number six is just 
abusing your engine. So when you don't allow your engine to warm up and you press the gas pedal before it reaches its working temperature. This is a very bad idea. When you start your engine, let it warm up for at least 30 seconds before you start driving. And then when you start driving, drive carefully until the engine reaches its working temperature. It should be something in the middle of the temperature gauge. So once your engine is in the work in the working temperature range, you can step on the pedal and you can demand some more power from your car. Now that you know all the six reasons why a head gasket may fail, you can prevent some of them. But remember that not everything depends on you. Sometimes you just need to understand that the head gasket is broken and repair it on time before the engine dies.